pomegranate jelly begins with gathering supplies. So you have your rings and your lids, you wash them with soap. And the jars I've got in here, they're staying warm, also washed with soap. Got a ladle, a funnel. This thing holds the jars and get them out of that hot water and it's time to fill them. And then the ingredients for pomegranate jelly are pomegranate juice, pectin, and sugar. If you're doing one batch, that'll be six jars. You'll need three and a half cups of pomegranate juice and six tablespoons of pectin and five cups of sugar. And if it looks like I've got way more than that, that's because I'm doubling my batch. So now the first thing is to put the pectin in the pomegranate juice in this pot and turn it up and get it boiling. all that pectin to dissolve. I'm going to bring it to a boil. Now comes the sugar. Did you call me? What, honey? The latest thing in Minecraft? What is it? Say it one more time real loud. I've got a lot of noise out here. I heard a leg habit. I don't know what that means. You gonna show me later? Awesome. All right, sugar's all mixed in. And now this has to come to a rolling boil. And because it's a double batch, we'll do it for two minutes, rolling boil rather than just one. All right, here comes the rolling boil. And I'm gonna go ahead and set my timer for the two minutes. off the burner now and all right hot jars are coming out of the water get all 12 jars lined up here okay. hot jars are ready for hot liquid Let's see if we can get some of that foam skimmed off so it makes the jelly prettier
finger tight just means like that. Not using your whole palm and your whole weight. That's it. Finger tight. And that's going back in the water. Of the lids, which there is in this case, and then you turn your burner up to high, and then you put the lid on. That's got to boil. When it starts to boil, that's when you set your timer, and that'll be for 10 minutes. There's always a little bit of extra jelly in the pot, so I just put that in the container in the fridge, and that's the first sampling we get of our pomegranate jelly and the other jars will go in the pantry. Here's that extra bit of jelly that I'll put a lid on and put it in the fridge. I wish you were here to smell this kitchen right now. I wish you were here to taste this pomegranate jelly. It really is my favorite jelly ever. Let's check on this pot. If it's boiling, we can start with a 10 minute timer. And that's looking good. There we go, that's agitating. Let's start the timer. There we go. Um, when that stops, turn off the heat, but don't lift the lid for uh, five minutes or so, and then go ahead and take them out. I put them on a towel surface, and then you get to hear the lids pop. Meantime, I've got some cleaning up to do because I'm going to do this whole process all over again. I've got so much pomegranate juice in the fridge and while we love drinking it, we also love our jelly. So we're going to we're gonna jelly a few times today. You hear the pop. The pop's like the best part. Thank you. 